<clears throat> Go ahead. <laughs> From dollar. Daniel Castro. Uh, subject is women's wrestling. Hi, hey, keeping 100 crew and JoJo. I have to start this off hot. I feel the cold open with Disco buried was Disco being buried was too long. I'm all from getting buried on occasion, but I think that went on way longer than it should have. <laughs> much, much like his matches. Oh. What? Nothing. What? Nothing. Anyways, I saw WoW was coming back in January. Also, so Tessa Blanchard on the advertisements. My question is to Conan. How do you feel about Tessa as a performer and wrestler? I feel she's got a lot of potential. She's killing it now, but she seems capable of more. Now, Disco, does this new promotion have a lot of heat with you? And will we be on at some point in the future with She's a Lady as your entrance music? Sincerely, Danny, sincerely, Danny C., who's actually Danny Castro. P.S. Mm-hmm. Do you think JoJo will interview one of his action figures on Creative Control? Might That's be the highest rated show he'd get. That's a good that question. Is. Well, let's start with a question for you, Joe. Will you interview one of your action <laughs> figures? <laughs> I, I, might do, I might do it for the Patreon site, yeah. Oh, my God. That is right. tremendous. Now, we'd have to pick, uh, pick which action figure, though. I mean, there's quite a few. Which is your favorite? From. Which is the one you play with the most or interact with the most? Uh, it used to be the CM Punk action figure, but then he lost his <laughs> UFC fight, so I, I don't I don't touch it anymore. John, I just Very get the feeling that you you touch these dolls inappropriately, <laughs> and I, I just that that's my biggest that is. with grown men and dolls is they're touching the dolls <laughs> in inappropriate places, and that bothers me. Okay, yeah. all right. All right. Now, uh, I don't have a problem with this if you do do this. I just want to know if you do it, and if you do do it, if you could take a picture, mm-hmm. do you ever sit them on your lap and talk to them? Uh, you know, I mean, you know, sometimes there's there's late nights, had a couple of drinks. I need somebody to talk to, you know. That is true. <laughs> that is true. Okay. This is a disturbing conversation. Okay. <laughs> uh, also, I've uh, no, I have no problem with Wow because Wow, Wow actually is a good woman's promotion because it accentuates uh, the sex appeal of the female performers, which I don't think is any, there's anything wrong with, you know. So. And you remember back in the day when they actually had a pay per view and, and Bobby Heenan was the color commentator, which was you know made the made the show a lot more enjoyable. Was he really? Mm-hmm. He, was col- he was the color commentator on their pay per view in I think two thousand one or something like that. That's interesting. I had one no the, idea about that. Yeah, one of the last uh, color jobs that he did before he got sick. You know. Really. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Um, okay, the next one. Well, he, here. Has, he has about uh, Tessa Blanchard too. What right. I thought about Tessa Blanchard. Oh yeah, what do you think about Tessa Blanchard's performance? Right? She's great. She's yeah. great. On the mic, in the ring, her character, everything. She's great. Most of the second generation wrestlers are. Kind of, if you think about it. If you're a bad gen- second generation wrestler, you're kind of like, you know, I, you don't see a lot of them that, that, that suck, you know? Why do you think uh, um, WWE kind of passed on her for now? Because she, she did uh, the women's tournament over there at NXT, and then, the, you know, next thing you know, she's an impact. Dude, I can't tell you. I have no, no idea. There's so many guys that I would have thought would have been just on that show like immediately that they, they don't use and stuff and they keep it NXT. Mm-hmm. And it's just, I just, I don't get it, you know, yeah. but they kept, they had Joe, they, they had Joe. How long was Joe in, in NXT for? Oh, uh, geez. Around At a least year, a I year, think? right? Yeah. Yeah. Bro, and he's like one of the better characters on the roster now and like on the main show. And you're going like, you guys didn't, I mean, you couldn't, you didn't think that, uh, that's, that get completely frustrated, bro. Well, look at it. EC, EC3 has been there about a year now. Yeah, yep. another guy. It's ridiculous. They Bobby Roode down there forever. You yeah. know, mm-hmm. right. right? Yeah, at, at right at that age, they should already be in the main roster. Right. 